Hi everyone, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. This is Talks on Watch for the week of October 1st, 2018. It is Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and let's get started. Let's take a quick look at uh, the Qs and the Spies before we do a rundown through stocks. Uh, Qs, very bullish, uh, nice bottoming tail, uh, pointing higher. Uh, we haven't had a new high this month uh, in September, but we sure did have a very bullish uh, August. 187.52, so glad September is over with and looking forward to the fourth quarter, one of the most dynamic quarters in the market. Uh, we have a lot of things going on in the fourth quarter, so I can't wait till earnings season. All right, 187.52 is the high from August. Still no high yet. Uh, the market seems to be uh, uh, pretty much uh, on the lookout for a gap up into tomorrow, uh, watching the futures uh, price action right now. So I see the NASDAQ is up already 33 points, 0.43% uh, green. Uh, so the, the monthly chart looks bullish and also the weekly charts. We're going to do a quick rundown. Really nice sandwich of this doji pointing higher and it does have a lot of room to continue higher into the 192, 195 zone. So those are the next projections for the Qs. Uh, daily chart, uh, it, it is uh, erasing the prior resistance high into the 156 and it's really trying to push higher. So the last uh, couple of days were, um, um, and in fact, last few days were uh, a little bit choppy because they were trading in a, a tighter range uh, following this doji. So we did have a pretty much an inside day uh, into Friday's trading, but I think that if tomorrow we're gonna be gapping up above this high of 186.55, we're most likely going to erase the 187 very, very quickly. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. And again, the Qs have been uh, super, super strong. All right, let's take a look at the spies. And uh, I'll, obviously, we're going to begin with a monthly chart. We have a new month and we also have a new week. All right, so Doji, uh, if we trade below 186.75, we're probably gonna enter a correction phase back into the 280s and uh, back into the 277 or 278. If we're gonna accelerate higher and take out the high, because hey, we have a new high this month of September, still September, September 30th. Uh, so if tomorrow we're gonna trade above or tomorrow anytime next week over 293.94, we have further targets to the upside and 302 is actually the first projection that I'm looking at. So very, very strong. Uh, also, the weekly chart, uh, Doji, uh, the low still holding, the low from Thursday still holding 280.90. Uh, this is going to be a very bullish uh, day if we break above 292. 293 is not going to be a problem to, to um, get over. And uh, like I said, it does have a lot of room for a, uh, for a push higher. All right, let me share with you what I have on my scan for this week on my hot list. And we have quite a few stocks. All right, first off, we're gonna start with Twitter. Uh, I still have a trade active in Twitter and I do like this uh, uh, weekly chart right now. It is uh, quite into a double bottom formation onto the weekly chart. Uh, monthly chart, not very excited. Monthly chart, in fact, looks pretty ugly, but it does have a res it does have support into the upper 27 level. So I'm just stalking uh, and seeing to see uh, and see uh, trying to see what the next move might be. So I'm still not yet stopped out of this trade. I'm still I'm only uh, half a position and so I do still have a lot of room to add but I do like the fact that we're revisiting this prior low the only thing that I don't like is that uh, we're definitely trading below the 50 SMA any push over $30 and in fact over $29.80 I will add to this trade for uh, continuation higher into the $32 and perhaps even higher back into the 35 So I still have an open mind on Twitter. 
I'm probably gonna look at a stop anywhere into the $25 zone. So that would be my maximum risk for this trade. Another trade that we have initiated, uh, I think it was last week, um, it was GDX. Now, GDX, this is the weekly chart. In fact, I love the monthly chart. Monthly chart has a really nice pin here. And uh, over $19, I am going to add to GDX. And GDX looks good for another uh, move higher. So this is just a quick recap of some trades that we have going on into the program. And uh, it, it, a matter of fact, I would love to see it over $19 and about 20 cents. This will prove that the price may continue a little bit higher. We're struggling with this prior pivot low. And I think that as long as we hold the $18 zone, we still have a chance of pushing higher. Uh, the one thing that this chart has going for it is actually the revisit on the 20 simple moving average and the buy setup that occurred off this 20 simple moving average and now the price is trading um, above, above the 10 uh, EMA. I think we still have a clean shot into the $19 if that's gonna pan out. I'm gonna be adding at $19 and about 10 or 15 cents around that area for another shoot up into the 1950 and into the $20. And I do have a last target into $20.50 in GDX. Walmart is another trade that I still have on and Walmart has been struggling. The monthly chart doesn't look very exciting uh, and it does look like it really wants to correct lower at least into the $91. Uh, what I am looking at is actually this 93 and change zone, which is the 50 SMA. And if we are going to get a pull right into this area, perhaps we may see a rotation as of this point. I don't like the fact that we're still trading below the 20 uh, SMA and the 10 EMA. And right now, $94 and change here becomes an area of minor resistance. So we really need to see the price push through that zone. So I still have, uh, I, I just am, I'm in uh, about half a position, so I still have room to add. And need, needless to say, that I'm still, I still have uh, some fix. I initiated the trade with quarter size, so much room for, uh, for ads. Uh, CHK, this is also an old trade, um, but I do like the formation and I really like the look of the monthly chart. So this is my favorite time to analyze the monthly charts. And if the price is going to trade over uh, $4.57 right above this area right here, I think this is gonna have a good squeeze all the way into $5, $5.50, and perhaps even higher back into the $7 and change into the year end. Um, and now let's begin with uh, everything that I have on my watch. Procter & Gamble, these are fresh new, uh, fresh new trades that I'm looking for um, this week. All right, so let's uh, zoom out to the daily charts. Okay, daily chart, we have another pivoting formation at the 50 SMA. And uh, currently since, uh, well, since uh, September, we have been riding this really nice 10 EMA. We have a golden cross here, rally. Uh, we pulled back a little bit of steeper pullback than I would actually have liked. I would have liked something into the $84, but I'm still looking at a trigger over $83.60. Any pullback buy into this area, into this 50 SMA may be bullish as long as it doesn't violate this prior low. If it violates this prior low before the trigger, I have no interest in Procter & Gamble, but I think it it has a really good setup. My entry for this trade is going to be $83.68 with a stop at $82.70. And don't forget that uh, it will report earnings on October 19. So we may have a really nice run uh, if it triggers into that date. All right, the next stock is UTX. Uh, UTX looks very interesting. Also earnings on October 23rd. 
I like the way it is setting up on the daily chart. Uh, the monthly chart is a little extended, but still uh, pivoting. And it is really trying to pivot here exactly where it is trading right now at $139.50. It is a minor support level from the monthly chart and also the weekly chart. So any rotation at this point and the hook off of this 10 EMA may propel, uh, may push the price higher. So over 140, my exact price is 140.73 with a protective stop under 138.60. I still think we do have a really nice run up back into the high of 144.15 and even more 147. All right, another trade that I have uh, on my scan is Caterpillar. Okay, Caterpillar pullback. Uh, and by the way, these are Dow stocks that I'm looking at right now. Dow has really nice stock setting up. So we have a pullback by uh, setting up off the 10 EMA. We have a really nice candle here on the daily chart. So any trigger in uh, uh, Caterpillar uh, over 152.92 with a protective stop of 150 may push the price higher back into the 157, back into the 160s. And perhaps if we, if this time around we're going to erase the 160s where we have a lot of resistance, uh, we do have uh, we do have <clears throat> a clean shot into the 170. So um, I think that with this trade with Caterpillar. I'm going to try, if, if we don't get a push, uh, a pull into the 150, I think that this would be a, a, an appropriate entry uh, right now uh, if we trade over that 152.90. Another stock is CVX. CVX. All right. CVX, I'm looking for an entry uh, over 123.40. And a stop below these lows right here, below this uh, 200 SMA at 121.50. I like the pullback. I'm not crazy about the pattern. The weekly is a little bit extended, but I think that so far through the last three days, we've held pretty well this 121.5 level. In fact, 121.7. And any push to the upside over 143.30 to uh, one, uh, oh, I'm sorry, 123.30 uh, to uh, one, yeah, I would say um, uh, one, well, no, hold on a second, 123.40, no, 123.30 to 123.40, that would be my, uh, that would be my entry. Uh, another stock that I absolutely love and, uh, COST. Let, let's continue with uh, with the Dow stocks. Uh, I'm sorry, with uh, with Costco first, and then uh, Nasdaq. Um, all right. So with Costco, I love this pattern. Love to shop at Costco. I actually run. Um, you know, I I shop every week at Costco. I go there for something, and I find out that I get out with a full cart. Anyways, love the way it is basing right now. Love the weekly chart, and I think that the weekly chart may be ready for a pullback buy once again. If it trades over 235.85, I'm looking for a protective stop into the 231.48. The one thing that I am very cautious uh, about is the fact that Costco will report earnings on October 4th. So uh, I'm going to keep this um, quarter positioned for this trade. I'm going to erase this because uh, I had all alerts all for this stock. All right. So I love the way uh, the weekly is setting up and I love the way the daily is setting up. So uh, this is a range. This is a bullish range right here. Pullback range. In fact, this uh, if, if, and here's the uh, here's the thing. If we're not going to trigger uh, perhaps and uh, after earnings, if we're going to get a breakdown, I'm going to look for a buy into the 230 zone. Okay, so we do, we have confluence zone at the 2.30, so that's that's going to be on my watch. Um, okay, I, I have received a lot of emails asking me about MU, and I'm just going to bring it up really quickly here. Uh, the monthly chart looks very bad, so <laughs> uh, just a big, big, big bar. 
uh, erased a lot of uh, longs and uh, right now we're bottoming into the $40.70. We tapped onto uh, the 20 simple moving average. Uh, the weekly chart, it, well, here's the thing. We have triggered two weeks ago uh, and we pretty much did not go anywhere. We landed into the 47.32, which is an area of uh, minor resistance from this prior pivot low right here. So radiating all these, all this resist, all this selling pressure. So that's the reason why it came in. But right now I'm interested in cheating a little bit of, of uh, the stop. So I'm looking for $43.22 area to hold. So perhaps the stop below 40, $42.90 will make sense. Uh, and I'm looking for a reversal here, although the price is trading below all these moving averages, but I, I like the hourly chart, I like the four hour chart, and I think we have a pretty tight consolidation onto the daily chart as well. So we have been meandering into the $43.80 for quite some time. And I think that this time around, if, we're, if the price is gonna erase $43, $46 and change, uh, it might have a push higher. So the area that I'm watching is have an alert set is $45.50. The risk that I'm going to apply is going to be into the $43.20. All right, so this is uh, Micron. Another stock that I have on my list is Celgene. All right, so Celgene, uh, I'm gonna put the weekly chart right here. Really nice reversal, so I missed it last week okay missed it last week i had it on my radar uh and in fact uh when it when it when it actually triggered on friday i was kind of like playing chase after indices so i had a lot of trades uh, uh in uh in the futures indices day trades uh and uh, i kind of like missed this stock so it actually triggered right at the open and uh the trigger 80, uh, $89 and 50 cents so i'm gonna stock it again uh it's at it actually closed exactly at my trigger price so i'm gonna be watching it on monday $89 and 50 cents this is gonna be the trigger um and i'm um, looking for a risk into 86.25 okay so my risk is uh uh, 86.25 is actually, are actually these lows right here, okay? All right, another stock, uh, so I have a lot of stocks on my list, <laughs> okay, sell chain, CSX, uh, we had it, uh, CSX, sorry, uh, we had it short uh, into the program, and we actually had uh, uh, the first target hit, and the second target uh, at our second, uh, so uh, shortly after we hit our first target to the short side, uh, I lowered my stop to break even on the rest of my position. And right now it's actually looking uh, like uh, very strong, okay? So monthly chart, I love the doji, $75. And if I, in fact, it's $74.92, this is the high. Uh, this is the trigger high, so 74.91 is the high. My trigger price is 74.92. So I'm looking for a push over this high, and I'm gonna give it a risk of $72.64. So let's go uh, to the daily charts right here. All right, $72.64, the, the, this is the stop loss area. All right, target. I haven't played this uh, uh, this stock in quite some time. Target, TGT. Okay, uh, Target. I love the consolidation here. In fact, I do love a lot of stocks <laughs> um, this week. All right, so let's move on to the weekly chart. Weekly, really nice shallow pullback here. Uh, it's like very strong, not giving up. So we had this really nice push all last week so it has been chugging along just basing consolidating and just chugging along pushing a little bit higher i if if uh, target is going to trade over 80 dollars and 67 cents uh over this high right here then I'm gonna be looking for a long, and the risk that I am going to give the stock is into the $86.38, okay, this is the risk. All right, another stock that is on the list, and in fact, um, 
I saw this one on Twitter. Uh, and uh, this is PDD, okay? So um, I've traded this stock uh, a while ago, and I love the way it kind of moved. Uh, really nice volume, 2.5 mil volume. Uh, I trade only very heavy volume stocks, and I don't trade anything that is thin. Uh, so this meets my criteria. So what I do like is the daily chart. So I'm gonna pull the daily chart right here. So the daily chart, what I like about it is that the price, literally the, this moving average is literally combing the lows right here. So I think that this is sufficient to have a trigger. Uh, it is sufficient to have a trigger over $26.60. Uh, and I'm going to plot the risk of $25, 25 and change, perhaps $25.14. This is the risk that I'm looking. And uh, uh, it does look like it really wants to push into the 27, 28 and into the 30s. So I really see it into the 30s. The one thing that I really like about the stock is the fact that it is really riding this 10, uh, 10 EMA. So it may develop into a power trend. Okay, so let's see what else I have on my radar. Uh, I have, okay, we talked about Caterpillar. Lily, L-L-Y. Lily, very strong. And I'm looking at this breakout right here into the 107. I mean, take a look. And I mean, if you guys know me, you know that I love to trade ranges. This is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Uh, love to play breakouts or breakdowns is my Favorite pattern of all. Uh, and I'm really good at this. All right, so let's look at the weekly charts. Weekly charts, uh, low, uh, 103. And uh, it has a high here of 107.84. Okay, here's my game plan with Lily, Elliot Lightly. Okay, so let's move to the daily chart, back to, uh, to where we have this range. First off, the way I'm gonna trade this, uh, I'm going to look patiently. I'm going to wait patiently for this breakout to happen. Okay. I think this, this is my plan. Okay. This is my plan. Uh, it came very close to breaking out the 107.84. You can see it right here. It came, uh, this high right here is 107.74. Okay. So it's just testing that area. So this happened on Friday. Uh, the way I would love to trade this because it has been consolidating for such a long time and it's really trying to, you've guessed it, uh, it's trying to ride the 10 EMA. So it's really trying to push a little bit higher. I love the way the, uh, the moving averages are fanning out on the one hour chart and even on the four hour chart, they're really trying to set up uh, a push for higher. So the way I would prefer to trade the uh, to trade Lily is to um, move. It's to have a big move higher and then a retest uh, lower to have a tighter stop. But uh, I'm still gonna decide on that. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait until uh, until Monday uh, and see how uh, Lily is gonna open up and then I'll decide on on that trade. Uh, that's pretty much it uh, for now. I still have a few more stocks on my radar, uh, but uh, for now, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, if you have any questions, you know where to find me, info at tradealloud.com, either myself or my team. If you have any questions, we're gonna be uh, answering. If you have a, a technical question, more than likely to, uh, I, will answer, uh, I will answer your email. All right, so uh, this is all for now. Uh, hope you all have a great, fantastic, profitable trading week. Happy fourth quarter, everyone. I'm so excited that we're beginning uh, that we're beginning this new quarter. A lot of things that are gonna be going on right now. Holiday trading in November and December. We have window dressing. We have the January effect. Remember that with your membership in the trading room, you have access to this to these unique classes, and uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to trade window dressing, how to trade uh, January effect, how to trade uh, how to trade around the holidays, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, especially for the fourth for the fourth quarter. All right, guys, thanks so much. I'll see you around and uh, enjoy your week.